Hey guys, welcome to Clarity Chart Analysis. In this channel, I'll be interpreting, analyzing the market structure, telling us our current position in the price chart, and predicting the possible next movement of the market. But first, if you are new to this channel, and you want to make money on both directions of the market, you want to know the current position of the market, this channel is for you. Please subscribe, like, and put on the notification to notify you anytime I drop a new video. In this video, I will be analyzing the Polkadot market chart. Currently, the Polkadot is sitting on the leveled position on the coin market cap with a symbol of DOT, D-O-T. At the point of recording this video, the Polkadot is trading at the rate of $5.73. It has a market cap of $6.5 billion and a fully diluted market cap of $7.1 billion. Guys, Polkadot has about $1.4 billion in circulation. Polkadot is an open source shaded multi chain protocol that connects and secure a network specialized blockchain, facilitating across chain transfer of any data or asset types, not just token, thereby allowing blockchains to be interoperable with each other. Polkadot was designed to provide foundation for decentralized internet of blockchain, also known as Web3. Polkadot is known as a layer zero meta protocol because it underlines and describes a format for a network of layer one blockchains known as parachains. As a meta protocol, Polkadot is also capable of autonomously and focusedly updating its own code base via an on-chain governance according to the will of the token holder committee. Polkadot provides a foundation to support a decentralized web controlled by its user and to simplify the creation of new application, institution, and services. Guys, if you want to get the Polkadot coin, where can we get it? We can get it on Binance, on Coinbase Exchange, on Kraken, on Qcoin, on BitHub, and any other exchange you get your favorite outcome. So guys, welcome to the Polkadot against the Theta chart. As you can see, I've already labeled my market structure. I used yellow to my major time frame and I used red to map out my minor structure. Guys, the main purpose for this video is for us to know our current position on the market chart. Let's have this bend our mind. After every break of structure, there is always a pullback. Guys, I will be using this to show us our, our move on the price charts. I will be using this screen tool to show us our bullish move. And I will be using the red tool to show us our bearish move. So after Polkadot was launched, the first break of structure we saw was to the upside, telling us that the, the bulls are in control of the market. And guys, remember, after every break of structure, there is always a pullback. The price pull back to this point and give us another break of structure to the upside, giving us another higher eye. As long as this lower eye that gave us this higher eye is not taken out, guys, we should expect another break of structure to the upside guys after the break of structure to the upside we expected a pullback but instead of a pullback sure we got a pullback but the lower eye that gave us this higher eye was taken out telling us that the bears are now in control of the market breaking structure to the downside just showed us that the bears are in control of the market and after a break of structure to the downside the bulls came back and pushed market to the upside to give us a lower eye after the pullback BS came into the market again and brought structure to the downside, giving us this lower low. But guys, remember, as long as this lower high is not taken out, you should expect more break of structure to the downside. Guys, expecting a pullback, price now pull back to give us another high, high telling us that the bulls are now in control of the market. This lower high that gave us this lower low was broken, meaning bulls now are in control of the market. After the break of structure to the upside, Guys, what do we expect? We expected a pullback. Sure, we got the pullback. And after then, boost came back. Break structure again to the upside, giving us a all-time higher high. Expecting a pullback, we got the pullback. But the pullback broke structure to the downside. This lower eye that gave us this higher eye was broken. We now know that the bears are now back to the market. Expecting a pullback, we got the pullback. And the pullback did not take out this lower eye that gave us this lower loom. So guys, what's our current position on the Polkadot market chart price? 
We also saw a block of structure to the downside on our major time frame. Price pulled back to this point. Currently, price just broke this structure again to the downside. But expecting a pullback, we've not yet seen a pullback. We don't know maybe price is still going breaking structure to the downside. Let's now move to our lower time frame to now analyze to see what price has been doing on our minor structure. So guys, on our minor structure, what have we been seeing? We've been seeing break of structure to the downside. Guys, take note of this. Everything that has been happening on our minor structure is between this lower eye on our major structure to this lower low. Guys, so what happened? Price just broke structure again to the downside, giving us a lower low. And we expected a pullback. Sure, we got a pullback. The bulls pull price back to this point to give us a lower eye. And after then, we saw another break of structure to the downside, telling us that the bears are still in control of the market. After breaking structure to the downside, we expected another pullback. Sure, we got another pullback. As long as this lower eye that gave us this lower low is not taken out. Guys, you should expect more break of structure to the downside, telling us that if you're trading at this point, you should be looking for opportunities to sell, not to be buying at any point. We saw price again break structure again to the downside. Expecting a pullback, sure, we got the pullback. But guys, guess what? The pullback now broke structure to the upside, telling us that the bulls are now in control of the market. Do you notice what I always say in this channel? After a break of structure to the downside and a break of structure to the upside, that shows there is a change of character. What you need to do is you go back to the supply zone that broke structure to the upside mark it out because when next price is coming to that supply zone or when next price is approaching that supply zone don't be surprised that you're going to see a significant reaction on that supply zone from that supply zone price and broke structure again to the downside now confirming that we are on a bearish trend guys to the billion dollar question for what our current position on the polka dot market chart price we just noticed that price broke structure to the downside on our major time frame we expected a pullback we've not really gotten a significant pullback and on our minor time frame too we just surprised broke structure again to the downside so guys put your thoughts in the comment section what do you think do you think price will rally back to the supply zone and break structure again to the downside and guys notice approaching a major demand zone on our major structure guys if price should break this structure to the downside then we should be ready to see all-time lower low on the Polkadot price market chart. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new to this channel and want to make money on both directions, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and put on your notification to notify you anytime I drop a new video.